welcome to another video around the Automatica project. This time I would like to introduce you to the workflow as a function hub, but running on a Google Cloud platform and essentially the Google Cloud run. To get started, let's look at the source code of our project. In the readme file, you will find a description on what needs to be done and what are the requirements. But let's have a quick look at the workflow definition itself. So we just simply open it up and there we go. So we have a workflow that defines the few information about the data object. So we have the user that we're going to register. And if it's valid, so this is to track the information about the uh, verification of the user data. So here we have a few steps. So we verify the user, we generate the username and password, get the user. So this is where we interact with the Swagger Pet Store because the Swagger Pet Store is used as our uh, user repository. And if we don't have the user, which will manifest as an error, meaning that is a 404 not found, we'll just go and proceed with the registration of the user. If that goes through successfully, we notify about the registration or we simply fail. And the interesting part here is that all of those uh, operations are done as functions because this is the workflow as a function flow. And the interesting at the end is that those will produce events as well. So depending on what is the end or end result of it, we will generate different uh, type of information into the uh, event system as well. So with that in mind, let's look at the configuration itself. So to be able to use a workflow as a function flow out of automatic with Google Cloud Platform, we first need to specify the target deployment platform. And for us is the Google Cloud Platform PubSub, because this is where we are going to use the infrastructure of the PubSub uh, within the Google Cloud environment to be able to interact nicely with the uh, key native environment. And the important part is that you need to specify the project ID that you're going to run with. And those are uh, taken from the Google Cloud uh, platform. So here in your project, you will find your ID. So this is where you find it and you put it into the deployment stuff. Uh, at the same time, in the configuration of our project, we need to include a function flow dependency and once we have that in we'll be able to proceed with the configuration of the uh, of our uh, workflow as a function flow including the execution of the google cloud platform to build the image that is fully uh, featured with that it's as simply as invoking the maven command and the maven command that is to produce container so what this will do is it will produce a container image that will have a native library, a native binary uh, containing this project inside it. So this will be extremely fast to start up and shut down. So we don't have to deal with the JVM boot uh, uh, delays and so on and so forth. So with that input, we can actually go and proceed with the configuration. So as the readme file said, we need to create a bunch of topics in our uh, Google environment. So this is what I've done before so we have all the topics created uh, integrated as you can see into google uh, managed uh, encryption keys and so on and so forth so we have the project oh an interesting thing is that the topic names uh, are important to know because inside our workflow definition what we need to specify is how the workflow is going to interact with our uh, underlying system so here if you look at the close documentation we have the function filter and the function filter, as you can see, uses the source attribute. So this is what is used for filtering of the events, because unfortunately in Google Cloud Run, all the events coming from uh, PubSub will have exact same type of the cloud event, and that is the message published. So be, to be able to identify which function should be invoked, we use the topic that it is coming from. So in our case, we're going to use the information about the uh, configuration of our topic and as you can see here we have the uh, placeholder so the uh, Quarkus Google Cloud uh, project ID is taken automatically from here as soon as it's configured and you build your project it will take this and equip the uh, proper configuration of the uh, of the functions to be triggered properly 
and here is the actual name of the topic so you just read user registration is the first the entry point to this workflow so we're going to use that to publish our messages so with that in uh, ready so we have all the topics created we can nicely go here and create a service so here we will create a new uh, cloud run service user registration in the US central here we select our image i already built the image so we save a bit of time so here we have and we use the latest one we have that and the important part is we will allow authenticated traffic but anyway it's going to go through the uh, pub sub uh, entries but now we need to create the triggers and we need to create triggers for every functions we have this will be in the further versions uh, properly automated as well so we get a script or we get a set of commands that we can easily use so we use the client club pub topic and we simply select all the user registration and we save it the same we do for the next set of operations and functions so it is the generate username and password we find it here and again close up and we have to get user save this one one more and here we have the get user we have the notify registered as well we have another one that is notify not registered and uh, last but not least is the register user all the remaining topics are not required because they will receive the completion of it so now we have the uh, service to be provisioned as you can see we have all the uh, creation of the revision we have the, all the triggers to be created as soon as that is done now we're just going to have the triggers uh, provisioned to our topics all right and here we can look at the logs all right uh, the article has started so we have the uh, function for running and as you can see it is in the google cloud uh, pops up as well so we can nicely go here and go to our user registration topic which is our entry point and we can publish the message there too so to publish the message we grab it from a readme file and we simply just press this one so we're going to register a user name my strong and we publish the message as you can see so we register the mic strong and then if we go back to our logs let's look at as soon as the message is delivered to our service and there we go as you can see user Mike Strong has been successfully registered with this information so he went through as you can see a bunch of uh, calls to the pub sub with the information provided and another instance is as well started to make sure that it can accommodate the load we can as well verify that because if we know that the user was registered so we can go to user register topic and we can look at the messages we have the default subscription created here so we can pull for messages and here we should get exactly so here we have the information as you can see individual things we have the mic strong the secret is the password and we have the m strong as well so we can actually try to look at the uh, store slugger user by name so if we just jump here and try it out let's see if we get the user there obviously there are two instances behind the uh, the pet store that's why it's sometimes uh, not uh, showing yet but as you can see we have those two published there so if we want to do pretty much the same thing we can just grab the same user and for instance go to we can close this one and go back to topics and we publish a new message here but now let's publish it that it's actually invalid registration so we'll remove the 
last name and if we publish that message and go back to our logs so you can see it's the key name the environment so it shuts down when when it's not needed and now it should spin up in a second as soon as the message is delivered as you can see user mike no because we didn't specify the last name is not registered due to invalid data so again if we go back here and find the topic that is responsible for containing the invalid data responses we can do the same here and just do the subscription the default subscription here and pull for messages and we should get our invalid data uh, being published here it's the august 3rd and this is the as you can see here we have the information specified as well right and that is pretty much what i wanted to show you today and uh, stay tuned for the further updates google cloud land with automatic of uh, workflow as a function flow is ready to be used thank you very much for listening